YouTube world. yesterday, uh, well Aurelio took yesterday, he's taking today off because it's cold. Um, they worked in the rain Friday, cold and rain, so I didn't want to push him too hard, so I let him have the option of taking the day off. And, uh, he decided he's much rather just be warm. Um, we are still getting up in the mid 40s to 50s in the afternoon, but I mean, it's half the day, so anyways, uh, me and Big Daddy Latshaw, we're going to go and trim some trees on a commercial property well a couple of them and get them cleaned up and do my best i can to make these look really nice this year so i'm getting bounced around in this truck a lot but it's because i'm empty so uh we go ahead and get the chipper and i'll see you guys at the job uh, 4500 does not ride like a cadillac branches on these yeah I almost don't know how much tree is gonna be left <laughs> but they're pretty brutal so hey, as long as I get my mower under there shit as long as I get the sprayer under there too yeah but fuck it sticks out in the parking lot like six feet Right. Yeah. That one's not, is it? Down. Those two. Next yeah. I don't know what that is. Um, I have an extended trimmer too. Dude, yeah. I think you have one too, don't you? Yeah, I just got it. I haven't used it yet. They're pretty sweet. But all the ones out there, that they're gonna need it. I tried using this, Which but ones? those ones. Yeah. Really. Yeah, I couldn't reach it with this chainsaw. They're not really too bad. Those ones. Uh, there's just a few branches here or there. I trimmed those before, like, like a few years ago. But, yeah. Um, did you bring a saw too? Yeah. Okay. Um, talk about this off camera. What's up? You got a chainsaw tool on you? Yeah, as long as it's Phillips. Well, I got one in my truck. I just didn't know if you had one on you. Uh-uh. Chain come off? to do like six foot sections for the chipper or? I don't know. I'd cut it like over here. I think you're supposed to leave like one or two branches. That way the limb will live. You don't want it to live. Yeah, you want it to live. You don't want to kill the tree or nothing.
All right, bud. All right, the chain fell off. How are we gonna get it back on? <laughs> I'm taking it to the shop. Do you know how to do it? Oh, you need me to show you how to do it? Yeah. Oh, shit. I thought you were going <laughs> to... That's why you want to make a video of how to do it. <laughs> yeah, I know how to do it. <laughs> uh, how do you do it? Well, first got to get it untwisted. Hold on. That's the part I need help with. Untwisting it? Yeah. Someone showed me how to do it one time. You kind of like flip it over or something. Girl. Now, one thing, the most important thing is you don't want to put your chain on backwards because you won't cut anything. So, if you look at it, it's got little like razor blades there. Like, yeah, this side's cleaner. But you can see like the cutting edge right there, how it's like filed. And the chain will always turn down. I think I don't, not, I don't know about pulse saw, but that's how chainsaws work. So, <clears throat> it's just tied. I just put it on there. There's a hole, like a, a set pin, it'll go in there. And then this is your guide pin. So once you get it on there and then you're, you're set, you can put your cover on. Ooh, ooh. Yours only Let's got clean one. clean that out. Huh? Let's clean that out. All right. I mean, this oil like dumping out of here, so you know, like, I don't think it's supposed to be that thick. Why does it do that? Because it's working too hard? No. I was going to say this. Maybe it's just a hole. This chain's getting kind of dull. You didn't bring an extra chain or nothing, huh? <laughs> no. Jeez. I don't use it that much. Uh, I just yeah. want to make sure I put your chain on right since this thing's upside down. Yeah, I did. Does yours not have two? Uh... No. Okay. Shit. <sighs> they tell you if it's got a. You do too have a flathead, you fucker. Oh, yeah, that's a different one. Yeah, this is like normal chainsaw. Like, uh, it's how you adjust your your chain so it's not. Uh. Out of sl well, I shot, I forgot to show you guys, but there's an adjustment for the chain on this one right there just a flat head that'll get your tension just right so that's how you put your chain on that's how you use it <laughs> got a lot of stuff back there but man look at all this it's a lot of branches we still got more to go too First uh, time using the pole saw, the Echo pole saw with my PAS 280. Yeah, I got the big boy, the heavy big boy. Here, yeah, that 2620, it's a little lighter. That's their new big boy, I guess, but I don't think it's as big as this. But I know it's lighter. Uh, so, yeah, whatever. Hopefully, there starts easier in this hoss. Give it, you know, a few little primes here because Bertha needs all she can get. And for some reason, you gotta turn it upside down. Once you get it going. Oh. If not, it likes to die. So 
don't know if that's a vent, but it ain't the oh. vent. Place that someone can park, they park right by the tree branch that could fall. That I need to cut. You want to? I'll cut it. Maybe as it drops, you pull it. You cut the whole thing? Yeah, I don't know any other way to. Because by the time it gets leaves on, it'll be there for someone's jacked up truck. We can wait till we get the chipper over here. By then, this restaurant will be open. It's almost 10:30. They open at 11, I think. in there to the pub I, I don't that's where I'd say this person's at but I don't know Thought it's not even open yet. there's a blue truck there I, I don't really know oh, geez. Years, huh? <laughs> I replace it like every fucking week, if not more. I had one for like six months. See, they got nasty. Had mold growing in it? Spots. Yeah, probably. probably what it was. It looked Mine like had... dirt or something. Oh, yeah, it's mold. Mine will get it in like nah, a week, week and a half, about as long as you can keep it. I, I literally kept one for like at least two, three, four months. That's disgusting. <laughs> that is, man. I know. I watched this Ripley's Blue. Whoa. Yeah, you're gonna have to back up. Sorry, cowgirl. But I watched this Ripley's Believe It or Not episode, and this dude like smelled moldy bread or something one time, and it was like some funky mold. And dude, he lost half of his face because of it. What? He inhaled it. Yeah, because he smelled like some moldy bread. And uh yeah, he lost half of his face. Cause like got all in there and started molding and I don't know, the spores and stuff. I, I don't know. Why? That's true. I do Ooh, feel like this jackpot. Yeah, people these days. Yeah, you're right. I heard on the lawn line. 
People got their stuff stolen. Yeah, it saves a lot of... It's almost like having a third guy here because it shoved its, all that stuff in there on its own. Are you good with helping me with Cornerstone? Yeah. It shouldn't be long at all. If you think you'd want to blow off, I'll just take a chainsaw over there and get a head start if you want to blow. Alright. Probably won't take too long, will it? I don't think so, but... Yeah, I don't think so, no. After seeing how fast this place went... There's only like five trees, right? Yeah, one... I'm gonna take a diff, significant off amount off of, but it, they're nothing like these trees. Those sucked when they were like, you know, didn't fit in there. Yeah. But I guess that's something that when you cut it off, you cut it in sections so that it's easier to go in there, like straight sections. Yeah. Cut it off. Not when you're first on the ground, but cut it off in pieces on the tree. <clears throat> yeah. So do you, so you want me to go over there and help you though? Yeah, if you don't mind. See that pile of mulch in that bed? Oh yeah, it's been there for a little bit. Yeah. I don't know. I will say that I wouldn't want to do this every day of my fucking life. No, it's not too bad. It's not terrible, but... I like it. You like it? You like heights? No. Huh? Not really. 
No, <laughs> I don't either, man. I don't want nothing to do with it. So what, just blow everything off? Yeah. Are you going to go around and rake the stuff up? No, nah, I'm just going to blow it in. And then just the first time you mow, you'll chop whatever's left up. And I don't think it got too bad until we hit that back section and started filling the truck up. But There's only two spots that are pretty bad. Okay. This last one, the one on the What'd that lady come out and say to you? She asked what we were doing with the wood chips. I told her you gotta ask him, he's the boss. She, she didn't ask me. <laughs> I know. She must have been scared of you or something. I don't know. I mean, why would she not came up to you? Unless you're just going I didn't have a chainsaw. Oh. I was struggling with that giant limb that was cut off from that tree. Oh, like, <laughs> just killing me, man. They live close. I'd go dump it for them. I don't really want them. Yeah. I go. I'd like to go in there and ask, but you got to go in some different door, and I wouldn't know who she is. And I'd hate to be like, can I get the black lady? <laughs> like, I'd hate to be rude. But whatever. Oh, I think we got something. I think we got a branch over there that we're going to cut. What, that truck rose? No, this second tree from you. Where the light came down. See the branch on the other side? Oh, yeah. Alright, so left flat shot to. Uh, blow everything off over there at that site and uh, I'm gonna head over to the next one and get a head start hopefully it makes it so it's pretty easy and he doesn't have to work too hard um, yeah that's uh, that's where we're at for right now and uh, come in the truck and tons of missed calls so we'll call them back and things sorted out but yeah that's the plan uh get a head start me with uh one of the commercial uh i don't even know what to call them project managers uh for a contract and uh, get these trees done i'll tell you what tree work is is not bad this chipper it's a it's a lifesaver so i'm really enjoying that so is last shot uh any tree services out there that are looking for a ground guy last shot said he uh he'd enjoy it so <laughs> Maybe hit him up, but uh, it's not for me. I'd rather be pouring concrete. So, uh, see you guys over there.